gentlemen, and welcome back to Scry Syndrome. I'm Ben Gilman, and I whooped COVID's ass. It's not a big deal. I've had worse from sitting on a men's toilet at Reading Festival. That was a lot more worse. Welcome back to the best TV podcast in the world. It says, I, my wife's penis has got passed, and I'm very happy. Also, someone having a good week is Helen Carnes. I, uh, She's feeling I once, better. I once worked at Reading Festival. Actually, I've worked oh, at Reading oh. Festival more than once. So, yes, I know what those toilets are like. Those toilets are how, how, but you're feeling good this week. I'm feeling good, <laughs> feeling good and looking fine, and all of that stuff. You're having a good week. My wife's visa's passed. You've, I've got rid of COVID. You're feeling better. And another woman that is very happy because, you know, Titi Man's love rival is pissed off to be a uh, mile high <laughs> slut on an airplane. It's Tara <laughs> Chloe. Hello, everyone. I want to know if somebody could be a mile high slut. Not on an airplane, but you know. No, true. Unfortunately, I will not be there in the sky to watch that telenovela because you know the narrator of the story of the telenovela and here. If you're ever on those airlines, Singapore Airlines, just ask for the titty man and see if which one of their faces goes. Oh, I know who that is. <laughs> just, you've had a good week because there's no more drama there. Yep. And I'm also joined by Troy Summon. I just want to know, are you still a virgin? Is there any good news on your part? Have you had sex? Oh, my gosh. Have we come to you always? Oh, my gosh. Hey. <laughs> Have you got any good news to share with us? Um, in terms of good news, I'm just a happy guy. I'm just a happy guy as usual. There we go. Next week is much worse, but we'll get to next week, next week. As long as everyone turns up. Yeah, so how is everyone? I'm 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 pretty happy considering everything going on this week. I'm I'm peppy. Got pep in your step. Yeah, uh, COVID was passed. Finally caught COVID after two years. Well done. I am fashionably late, like a hipster. Um, getting it after everyone else has got it. It's okay. Yeah, because you're vaccinated. Big deal is really because you're vaccinated. Yeah, I know. That's I'm why it wasn't a big smart. deal. We can't tell people that it's not a big deal because they might be like, oh, I don't need to get vaccinated then. Well, no, if you're vaccinated, you're smart. And, you know. Mm. And I don't want to give those people any excuse. No, but I can always come to the house and breathe on them. So, what, what, and then you die, and then there's less stupid people in the world. No, I shouldn't say that. But That's, yeah. yeah, there's a name for that. <laughs> there's a name for that. Serial killer. And I'm not that. I'm not Hitler. It's fine. I think it's, think it's eugenics, but, you know, serial killer, serial killer works as well. I'm a serial killer anyway. I murder my Frosties in the morning. Hey! hey. Boom, We're boom. Not... So, <laughs> how has everyone been? Wait. Yeah, good. Really good. I've been busy. I've had a lot on this week, but it's been a good kind of busy. I've enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm feeling good about what I've achieved this week. That's always a good feeling. And now you get to work with me more one on one as the manager. So, oh, potentially, yeah. Yeah, isn't that going to be scary for you to see me more often in meetings? Nah. Lovely. Tara, how do you feel right now? Have you put a horse's head in a bed yet? Really, really happy with the things that's happened this week. Um, so, so yeah. what are you going to put? You're going to put a horse's head in her bed to say, bitch. And uh, I'm just going to ignore her because, you know, um, I'm just going to leave, you know, karma to deal with her. Yeah, that's always more satisfying, isn't it? <laughs> just watching that unfold. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. But that's, how I, that's how I feel about people that annoy me on reality television. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you'll yeah. get yours. You'll get yours, babes, don't worry. Yeah, but, you know, I was actually wondering what is more dramatic, euphoria or this whole real-life telenovela thing. Yeah, but it feels like I am rude in doing the narration, but my... <laughs> yeah, definitely. You're you're rude and not Cassie in this situation, for sure. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm like, and yeah, well, I guess the telenovela ends here and we can all move on with our lives in a way that... But you've done good. I'm happy for you and Troy's. Troy, Troy's put a lot of videos out this week, and he wonders if um, it's a Miller, who's the really shitty actor who oh, can't yeah. be the Flash, has he lost his mind? 
I think, to be honest, he's not as good as that. That's the guy from the Flash TV show. So that's all I'm going to say on that. Wasn't the, guy, wasn't the guy from the Flash TV show Evan Peters, or am I getting that mixed up with somebody? No, no, Grant Gustin. Grant Gustin. That's it. Um, yeah. I thought it was Graham. Or from, oh, yeah, he's a bit of a crazy man, isn't he? He's lost his mind this week. He's lost it, that's guy. He's been off his rocker for a while now, to be honest. Hasn't he been like videoed attacking somebody or something like that? Wasn't yeah, he's been, been choking people, choking women. <laughs> he's been oh. he has to pay for that. He's like, you want to run? She was like, you want to run there? You want to run shit? Because like, it's a flash. He goes, yeah, come here, come here. I'll run it. And he chokes her into the ground. I was like, what the heck? I mean, I know people don't get very angry if they weren't checked properly by women. So maybe they just didn't do the job well. Man, I shouldn't say that. That's bad. Sorry. That, that's not good. We don't know. We don't, we don't know the level of. We don't know the level of consent that's going on there. Ben, I stole that joke off of a podcast this today. So when you said choking, I'm, I'm going to do it now. I'm landing it now. This is this one. I don't think I've got control. Time to unload that. I've got control. Scans out of control. Damn it! He's out of flipping control. The opinions of Ben are not the opinions of everybody on this podcast. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Oh, exactly. Oh, there you go, Helen. I had that oh, one in a while. Come oh, on, Helen. It's like a callback. Sky syndrome. A little callback there. That's an old school back. Oh, flashback. What time? What the hell was that? Oh, no. It was just some haunted video of the swing moving on its own. Okay. Yeah, swing moving on its own. Oh, yeah, was... there's a lot of those circulating around the internet, especially in Singapore. I, I'm not sure why. Oh, it's fake. Maybe someone pushed a swing and there's still some momentum and they ran off from the camera and yeah, it's recorded. Oh, and now, the, now it's a, a thing. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to, I'm just going to break the rules. I'm not going to talk about TV because I've not watched any TV. I've watched films. Okay, yeah, what do you watch? Too. What do you watch? Breaking the rules already. Sorry, sorry, I've been ill and I couldn't be bothered this week. So I've watched loads of romantic movies. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm looking at Troy's face right now. I love you. Like, what? Hey, sometimes we pick movies on here and we don't allow, we don't stop that from being allowed. It's, yeah, I was, I, I, you let me have a movie go through the other week. Yes, so I'll, I'll, I'll allow it. Well. Alex does. And I'm, I'm just, and we talked about wrestling on here before, Troy. The rules are flexible. Hey, yeah. TV, they're a TV show. They're technically a TV show, Ben. Don't bend the rules. The rules are bent I'll, I'll out you up, by other women. So I'm joining yeah. my female ben, sisters. Ben, don't worry. I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you off this week. I'll let you off this week, Ben. I've got a long list. I'm just going to, maybe you've seen it. Pretty Woman. Everybody's seen Pretty Woman. Woman. I've never seen Pretty Woman till now. What? Oh my goodness! Hey Ben, did you, check the, did you check the ages? Did you check the ages first? Ben? Oh fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> did you check the ages? Yeah. Junior Roberts. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm okay. Richard Gear. Richard Gear. Is it Richard Gear or is it Richard Gear? Yeah. Yeah, Richard Gear. Yeah. I just enjoyed it. It was obviously everyone knows the movie. Um, it's fine. It's it's a great movie. It's an hour and a half, which is my magic time for it. Um. I think Julia Roberts is great in it. Then again, I think Julia Roberts is good in a lot of things. Um, Richard Gere is a bit of a weird android in the film, though. His That's character doesn't make much sense. Android. How he thinks. I mean, yeah, they're going, what's this guy's personality? And they've gone, he's rich. And he's like, yeah, no, but what, what, what is he about? He's rich. He okay. does know sorts of people. Um, what else? He's handsome. Yeah, okay, he's handsome. Yeah, but what, what is his personality? Rich and handsome. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I can do that. I'm an actor. I've got range. White man archetype. Oh, for God's sake, mate. Come on. Richard Gere. Yeah, he wasn't known for that black movie, really, so. Yeah. I mean, oh, by the way, shout out to the, um, there's there's one bit where I started laughing, where I couldn't take it seriously. Um, it's the bit where the hotel manager decides, oh, yeah, you're, the, you're his niece. Mm. Um, was the girl, the woman, the prostitute? I was like, no, come on now, no, like, no, no hotel would want a prostitute coming in and out. Like, come on, like, oh. I don't know. It's, it's like there's that level, isn't it? 
I just see, sat there with the my places mouth. where you see sex workers are the very very low end hotels and the very very high end hotels. It's just about how discreet the concierge is willing to be or whoever works on the door. Like you're gonna yeah. always see sex work happening in hotels. Yeah, it yeah. Does, yeah. The the places where it's not allowed are the mid range ones, like your holiday inns and your travel lodges and all that stuff. Like I think the people would be like looking twice there. But now, nah, mate, like places like five star places, the, the front desk will call one for you. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, exactly. Because they're used to fulfilling the whims of extremely rich people. Which one do you want? Yeah. No. I mean, I enjoyed it. I mean, it's not, it's, it's people quite. Pretty nasty. woman. I mean, I've seen worse films. I enjoyed it. <laughs> no, it's a good, good movie. Just, remember. His character is not a human being. His character is not. He's just a guy. And you don't just like prostitute and then you just pay for her to stay with you in your room. What? I was like, okay, this is weird already. Romantic comedies. Normally have to fit their gimmick, and then I've seen some really weird ones lately, where you try and fit it in. And, but it was just a bit weird that he let a prostitute stay in his room, and he paid her not to have sex with her. She's, why? This makes no sense. Then again, that's why I love romantic comedies because they're awful. <laughs> uh, that's not. That's not, I also watched Four Weddings and a Funeral. Good movie, good movie. It's Richard Grant's, um, um, sorry, Hugh Grant's uh, best movie. Um, I love Notting Hill and everything else, but in this one, it's not so... I don't know, with a Hugh Grant movie, you can kind of see the formula. This doesn't really have a formula. This is more of a case of you don't quite know which way it's going to go. There is a bit there where he gets married and you don't know the woman that well. It's a bit... hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Good movie, really loved it. It's not, it's brilliant, but it's not formulaic. It's a bit of a weird movie. It's it's good, but it doesn't have all the trappings of they break up, then they get together. It's just kind of always this. No, fit. it's misconnections, isn't it? Like there's the whole thing about it. They've, you know, we've all we've all known somebody where you like them and you they like you but the timing's never been right it's, a, it's that's mm. the kind of thing they got going on it's just never the right time for them there's always somebody else there or you know when they're never single at the same time yeah, yeah. i've been I, there everybody's been there i mean i i enjoy it ships in the what? night yes exactly there you go do you like, you like it one, <laughs> sexy ships in the night there you go there i you love go. it because it's just you grown like when they're getting in the car, it's just swearing for like the first two minutes. You're like, well, that's British people. We swear a lot. Yeah. It's literally like that. And I love that bit. It's so British. My wife was like, you should, is that like, you've lived with me for two years. You surely should know by now. British people, we swear if things go wrong. Oh, God. I'm going to, I was going to talk about this later, but Oscar Isaac's accent in Moon Knight. Oh, Helen, Helen, Helen. Helen. I'm sure you're going to talk about it. You're going to talk about it later, Troy. Yes, I'm going to talk about it. Yes, I'm All right, I won't say any more then. <laughs> you can work on that one together. Ha- I mean, half oh, that's of fine. You can bring it up and yeah, I'll yeah. piggyback. I'll piggyback. No, 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 no. I'll let you go through it because it's not actually on my list. I just remembered it. But um, we'll talk, we'll talk, we'll his talk. his idea of doing a British accent is just saying bloody every five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all mate? Yeah. Yeah. All right, mate. Yeah, yeah. Bloody mess this, isn't it? <laughs> I, 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 it sounds yeah. like worse. Go, go, go. Put my hands up, mate. Come on. Put your dicks up. Come on, you know, fight Come on. <laughs> Why do you sound like an Essex boy? Get that's out! The, that's the accent. That's how he talks. That's how he talks on Moon Knight. That's how he talks. I, I, I work in a gift shop and I've got a flat in central London. Gift shop, mate. I got a gift shop. I work in a gift shop. I'm London <laughs> Batman. I'm London Batman, and I'm crazy. I'm, I'm Caroline Batman. No, why, I do, why do I live in London, but all the shots of London haven't got me in them? <laughs> I've already, I've already written Moon Knight on the list because I knew Troy was going to talk about it. Moon Knight is incredible right now. I'm loving it. I'm loving Moon Knight. I've it's also very silly. Yeah. Which stop, it should be. Which it should be. Stop pretending <laughs> things are in London that aren't in London. That's America. Oh, they, seem to think, they seem to think English people still wear top hats and say good morning, darling. 
not in my London. Um, Do you know the, uh, the, the best, you know, like Last Night in Soho is a really good film, but the best yeah, thing about movie. it is that London is correct in yeah. every single second of Last Night in Soho. There is not, not one direction. corner that is turned that goes into a different street than the one that you're expecting. Like because the geography in that film is... Mm. is you see, you remember some role the like director. That is why, end of it's a. And, and no, but it's 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 some British directors don't do that, but Edgar yeah. Wright. Richard atten- Curtis, step on down, mate. Yeah, he, no, Rich. I think Edgar Wright's attention to detail is second second to none. But and my- I went to a Q and A viewing of last night in Soho with Edgar Wright, and that was the question I wanted to ask him: like, was getting London right a choice or a necessity for you? Mm. Because it just made the it just like all every yeah honestly when me I went to see that film in part I went to see it and the first thing we both said when we came out was they got London right. I love it. I love it. As soon as you see all the streets, I was like, oh snap! This guy, the detail. Yeah. Every every road you might see a little road that like, oh man, I know that place. I know. I know where that is. I know where that is. Yeah. That. Oh, that was great. That, was that great. street leads onto that street, and if she did run out of there, yes, that's where she'd end up. Yeah. So. I'm also going to talk about cruel intentions as well, which is one of the cruel most... intentions. Okay, I can't believe that you were a young man in the nineties and you have this is you watching cruel intentions now. Do wait, wait, this is your first time seeing it, Ben. Yeah, I, 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 I wait, 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 Helen, and you talk about me being a virgin. Oh my flipping gosh, man! Yeah, exactly, exactly. You, you, can, you, you cannot judge You're barred. Anyone. You're barred from you using that ever again now. You're I was barred. busy having yeah. sex when these You're movies. You're Oh my You're god. Barred. Your I'm father. sorry. I, 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 yeah. If you weren't having a little, little, exactly. little, little, little no. um arrangement of you downstairs watching Selma Blair oh. and um, <laughs> Michelle Geller having a big. I can't moment, Helen. Go, Helen, tell him. Helen, tell him. Honest. No, no. I'm, 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 I'm 100 on Troy on Troy with Troy on this one. Sorry. Go. It, it, doesn't, it didn't. It wouldn't matter if you were having sex. It would have blown your mind. It was just like everyone, everyone at the time. I've like, seen it once, oh. but I couldn't remember it. So this is the first time I've remembered watching it. Um, it's like it's, it's, excuses, man. Excuses. I see. Like one of my best friends doesn't really yeah. watch television, but mm. he's the same age as you. Like he's, he's a bit younger than me, but he can tell you within thirty seconds of a Friends episode whether Rachel wears a bra in that episode or not. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel doesn't wear a bra. And then, and, and then you go, you go, good episode this one. I go, what's it about? He's like, I don't know, but I don't think Rachel's got a brown in this one. <laughs> oh my god! Awesome. And he hasn't watched it for. I know he hasn't watched it for twenty years. So I'm just going to write the film. It's a hell of a concept. Um, I know they're not blood, but they are blood brother and sister, half brother and sister. Doesn't make it any more icky. The concept of they're not good people. Um, just mm-hmm. sleep. it's not. It's not the greatest movie. They try to redeem him. There's no redeeming this guy. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, skip the next thirty seconds. The bit where he gets hit by a car is just hilariously funny. Oh my gosh, I laugh yeah. my ass off. It's just so everyone's trying to have sex with each other. It's just so oh my gosh. ridiculous and casual. And I couldn't, I couldn't, I didn't think it was a great movie. I thought it was just really cringeworthy, trying too hard to be edgy and not that great. Yeah. At the time, this was like it's that iconic movie in terms of like where it was. Where it oh, came it out. is, but it's it not out. a good movie now. It's yeah. aged. I haven't bad. seen it in a while though, so I don't know. I haven't seen it in a long time. It's so. not aged well in nineteen in two twenty twenty two eyes. Mm. You're kind of like this is an awful movie. It's like Fifty Shades of Grey, basically. Oh, it's gross. <laughs> <laughs> characters where you just can't relate to them so awful movie show. like the actors are fine I mean it's like the actors in it are from like your screams of American Pies and all that Tara Reid and yeah, them kind of, yeah. Buffy and f- things that I would have watched when I was a kid like a teenager I recognise all these actors Josh Harlett and yeah. you know it's a who's who of mid 90s Late nineties, early two thousands. Nineties, two thousands crew in it, yeah. And it was just really weird and really just. I mean, at the end, the ending was kind of cool. At least she got her just desserts, but it was just a bit weird. No one's likable, and the blonde one, 
She's having an affair with her boyfriend, which we never see, with Josh Harlett. So really, no one's good in this film. Like, I'm just going to call it out now. <laughs> Uh, well, that's all I remember. Got all the being villains. That's all I remember. All the other villains. Bro. Such a bad movie. I'm sorry. Boy yeah. Intentions is a shit film. Um, I also watched Sweet Home Alabama. Oh, sweet home Alabama. oh that's a, that's yeah, that's sweet. It's predictable, but it's sweet. Yeah, but mm. it's always funny to watch how they're going to get there. You can always see the other one that they're going to end up with, and you expect it. I like how it's just really funny as well. It's just like it's not the greatest movie ever, but. Like, it's not set in New York. Mm. And the senator, the New York mayor's um, <laughs> governor, is funny in that. Mm. Um, I like it. I mean, okay. I mean, I've also watched The Hottie and the Nutty. Do you the know what it's called? The Hottie and the Nutty. It's basically a film made to make Paris Hilton feel good about herself. Oh my gosh, absolutely. Paris Hilton is just like amazing at everything. There's a guy that wants to get with her. It's an awful movie. <laughs> it's so <laughs> shit. And there's this friend who's got like bad teeth, a mole, bad skin, and he only falls in love with her because she changes her face and her teeth and gets rid of the mole. It's awful. And in the end, he decides to go with her instead of Paris Hilton. And it's just such a bad message to send to people. Like, she's changed herself for him. It's Hilton. Oh, I remember, I remember that past year. Tell you what, though. House of Wax for Paris Hilton. Good film. Oh, she was, good. she was good in that. I remember that. She was like, ah. good. Was that. She was really good in that. I was surprised. I was like, oh, stop. Is that Paris Hilton? No. Okay. I was surprised that she was in that. That was a good movie, that. House of Wax. She's not good in this movie. She's she feels like she she couldn't be too bothered. And why you were sleeping, which is a Sandra Bullock film where she's a train person and um, the guy she keeps seeing gets mugged and thrown onto the train tracks and then she pretends to be his fiance in a hospital bed. And oh I'd, yeah, yeah, it, it's funny, it's fine, but again, you can see where she's going to end up with and. Man, romantic comedies have to go quite far to extinguish themselves from each other, and it's not real life at all. I love it. I just... <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. So those are all those awful romantic movies, which I seem to be in a romantic mood right now. I did watch Malignant, which is the film that... Oh, yes, from. yes. What do you think? What do you think, man? Mental. Incredible. I know I love it. Like, it goes halfway through. It's a bit middling, and then it just comes a fire and you're like oh my god halfway through the bit where you find out what the killer is yes. you're like <laughs> it's just it's moved, they're a bit in the police station Trey will know what it is yes it's just weird it's just it, that movie just goes on a mental bit and it never comes back and it's glorious <laughs> it's incredible oh my god James Bond just on the right side of craziness to get away with it as well so yeah, I'm not talking about TV this week, so fuck yeah. Done. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm not <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Next week I'll have some stuff. Yeah. Tell you, um, I've, got, I've got a quick film tip as well for doing films. Um, oh. Um, no, I watched sorry. Freaky, Freaky this week. Oh, I, I, oh, oh, I haven't seen that yet. I haven't seen that yet. I haven't seen that yet. I, I it. love it. No, it's brilliant because so it has good. Fun. And watching Vince Vaughn try to be a teenage woman is a teenage girl is hilarious. Oh, he's so good. He does such a good job. Vince Vaughn is a man. He is a man. Oh, it's brilliant. It's such a good movie. Treat yourselves, guys. Treat yourselves. There, there's a bit, Helen. I'm just going to say there's a bit in the kitchen with the best friends, and Vince Vaughn is quite funny without spoiling it. You know? Yeah, yeah, bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the bit. Yeah. But he's going, oh, and he's like trying to get. Why are you hitting me? <laughs> I'm your friend. It's like, you're looking at that. Bang, bang, bang. Will you stop hitting me? Oh, man, I've got to watch that movie. Watch it. Um, it. It's brilliant. Freaky's great. It's from Blumhouse. It's from the guy who did um, Happy yeah. Death Day. I'm a, Blum, I'm a Blumhouse guy. Let's go on TV. I'm to watch it. <laughs> Check it out. ASAP. Um, oh, I'm going to... Next week, we're going to do the special where we pick each other's shows. Okay. I'm going to make a boss decision here. I'm going to tell Helen what she's going to watch now. Oh, God. Rick, God Last God. one standing. What's that? Is that... <coughs> so sorry. What's that about? I'm not sure what's happening here. 
Okay. Last one standing. Is it? Last one standing. Is it dubbed? It's subtitled. Oh. Or so. Oh, no. Troy, you're getting last one standing. I, it might be difficult just because I can't read. Yeah, hey, I don't mind stuff. I don't mind. And I'll, watch I'll, at the same time. It's it's an ADHD thing. I'll give it to Troy. Last if, one standing. If I'm reading the dialogue, then I'm missing the action. They haven't dubbed it, unfortunately. Right, so. I know that. I know. I don't. Please don't write in. Please don't at me. Like no, it's, it's fine. No, no, no. I know, but it, I, I get a lot of grief from people who say you should need subtitles, and it's like. I physically can't read and concentrate on things are moving at the same time. So i have given Troy his. Okay. Would okay, you like guys it. like to nominate your guys? Tara, have you thought about who, which episode of a show you would like one of us to watch? Um, okay. Maybe. Maybe. Um, the recent thing I've actually watched was the Vampire Diary season eight before I terminated my HBO Go subscription. <laughs> oh my gosh, Vampire Diary. So who's gonna watch that for next week? Interesting. Well, okay, maybe if we don't like it, I could change it. Um the other recent show that I've actually watched was one of the other series of the Prince of Legend. And let me look for the full name. Just give me a but second. Who do you nominate? You Which nominate. one of us would you nominate to go watch the show? You. Me? <laughs> yeah. so, so what's he watching? What show was it? Vampire Diaries. Just give uh, me yes. yes. Just, just give me oh, no, no, no. Actually, like actually, um, I, I chose Prince of Legend. Oh, Prince of Legend. Okay. How do I watch that? You should watch it. It's Damn. nice. Damn it. What do you want to get Vampire Diaries? I think that I would like to nominate Tara to watch the Halloween episode of Inside Number Nine. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's good. The Halloween special, though. Live. It's really clever. I watched it live. I was blown away. I know people that turned it off. I know people that couldn't understand it when they watched it recorded later what was going on. Mm. But then they understood because it was recorded. They went, "Oh, this is the part of it." So if you watched it live, you got hit by it, and like you got a different experience, the, didn't you? Because they were didn't hear them. The like, actual actors were tweeting about it, and I it, line, it lined up. Like, Generally, what the fuck? We're on Twitter. What the f word is happening here? They're tweeting like, yeah, yeah. Hey, I think Tara, you really enjoy it. <laughs> And I don't think it's something that if you read about it, you would watch on your own. Mm, All right. So, Troy, yeah. I'll do Vampire Diaries, Tara, because I can't, I, I don't even know. Yes, i like to see you watch Vampire Diaries. <laughs> I've got to watch season one, baby. A vampire Diary. <laughs> Oh, no, that's great i'm so glad we're friends thanks for that yeah, troy. Vampires having all right. you nominate okay um, i think troy's got to find something for me now yeah, yeah. Head head now. you found something for troy i'm the only one that hasn't got anything i was having a similar case so i'm trying to think right now because i'm trying to think because i've got another head in now so i was like mm, let's watch you guys have paired up together a lot, you know. Mm. It's lovely. Yeah, as I was thinking, I'm like, okay, so yeah, Jackie's seen that, and your boy, she's seen that. Moonlight, she's seen that. So, Peacemaker, she's seen that. Yeah. So, I'm, so I'm trying to run all these shows now. Okay, all right. So, Vampire Diaries. I can't get past. What's the one that you... <laughs> what's the one that Troy loves that you always give him... You rip into him for liking? Charms. Oh, Charms. Yeah. Oh, that <laughs> you know, I was I was thinking of charm, but I was like, I'm thinking of about charm. Yeah. Charm, yes. Is there a particular episode you like? You'd be like, that's oh. the one. If any episode's going to sell her, that's that one. Oh, let's see. I want wait to experience greatness. No. Just watch the trailer. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I believe this will hook you up. First episode, charm, bro. Let's do it. Yeah. First episode, right. we'll get you in, man. First episode, we'll get you in. Let's do it. 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 Let's do
Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad. Seven up, hey, right. Helen, Helen Tara, I'm so glad Ben got Vampire Diaries. I'm so glad. I'm like, yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> he's going to be yeah, shimmy. I'm glad I got the joke one. Thank God. <laughs> you should have said Twilight instead. <laughs> He's going to be shimmering by next week. He's going to be shimmering. Oh, God, I've got one show to watch, and it's... Oh, man. I need, I, need, I need Helen to be a charm fan as well. I need my charm fan to be unite. Come on, guys. Helen's going to be a charm I fan. I gave you last man standing, at least. So it's a Japanese yeah. comedy show. I want to hear what Troy thinks about it. Cause yeah, I'll check it out, yeah. Sure. I think you'll find it funny. Last man standing. <laughs> Because it's got some really good jokes, it's especially some great AKB jokes where I laughed. Thank you, AKB48. Well, one of them is a former AKB member and she does do good jokes. Is it the one that, like... It's very funny when they get... Oh, AKB, oh, Ben's friends, AKB. <laughs> no, they're not. I hate them to death. <laughs> but... She does get some she good jokes them. off about AKB and you'll appreciate it. I hate AKB too. They're shy. I know, but she does a good job. I hate AKB too, but she does do a good job, to be fair. S-H-I-E-T. Shite. Yeah, but you'll still enjoy it. So go watch it. You'll actually find oh, okay, it. Okay, okay. To be fair, when I found out she was AKB, I thought, oh, this isn't going to be funny. But she did surprise me with some really dirty jokes. You know, Oh, you're not AKB. You're the one that had a boyfriend when you weren't meant to have a boyfriend. She's oh, the one that when... So she went, she made a really good joke about wigs and stuff and shaving her hair because she's hard. It was just oh, fucking so hilarious. Nice. And then she talked about the fans grabbing titties and stuff and you're just like, oh, okay. She just doesn't give a <laughs> Okay. Okay, you're going to have to help me out. What's AKB? AKB is like the worst thing that's ever happened to pop music since uh, S Club 7. One what? Direction. Cliff Richard. Or Tom Jones. Be Those are all excellent Britney artists. Spears. What are we talking about? Ben with the blas- blasphemy right now. <laughs> He's got with the blasphemy. There's oh, 40, oh. there's like 100 members of oh, this pop group. Oh. They all come on stage. They've got hundreds of members and like they all dance really badly. And they just decide to do bikini photos. And it's horny old Japanese men love them. And their music's <laughs> absolutely <laughs> shit. They have loads of different versions of bikini photos in each album. So they buy all the singles variants. So they always go to number one. It's awful. And they all wear school uniforms. It's it's they always act they always turn up in Japanese drama because they're trying to be actresses and they're the ones that look like Australian soap actors. Oh god. You can tell they're like, oh yeah, he went to the shops. And it's like robotic. He <laughs> went to the shops. You can always tell one of them are like AKB member just immediately by Cold how shit they are acting. <laughs> <laughs> Oh we are God. half an hour in and we haven't talked about one show. So I think it's time we start again. We mentioned, right? well, I think Troy mentioned, I mentioned the Peacemaker. So I'm mm-hmm. going to let Troy start on that one, I reckon. Okay. Oh, so we, okay, so we're going to run through that again. Peacemaker. Seen drunk this week. Uh, go on, go on. Hey, I'll let, I'll let Helen, Helen run for this one. I no, it's fine because it's honestly, it, it honestly wasn't one of my picks because I did have it ready for last week, but I wasn't well. So I reckon you go for it and I will chip in. My Do you friend. still want to sit in John Cena's face, Troy? <laughs> Come Dude, on. Honestly, I think we're better off checking who doesn't want to sit on John Cena's face because oh, that, 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 that's a comfortable looking face. So that's this week's episode. Who really doesn't who want really? to sit in John Cena's face? John Cena's face. Honestly, oh, okay. so show me somebody who can look me in the eye and tell me that they don't want to do that and I will show you a liar. Helen <laughs> is doubling down. It's doubling down this week. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, but um I, I touched on it a bit um last week, but Peacemaker, my gosh. Okay, so the best opening credits ever, right? Oh that We're is not gonna argue with that. Credit is insane. I love it. I love it. I love it. I flipping love that opening credit scene, that is insane. I was like, oh my gosh, what the heck is he doing? I was like what is, what is James Gunn doing? Oh, that, what my, is this? My favourite bit is when Eagley misses his cue, misses his mark, and he has to kind of shuffle along a little bit once they're all doing their like, little... Yeah, he's going... Like, just, yeah, just chef's kiss. Just oh, my like, God. Yeah. Eagley, Eagley, 
is impressive with this show. Taking out villains left and right. I flip it off. I love the villain. He's giving me my love. It's just really willfully silly, isn't it? Yes. Um, and as I said before, literally, I told these guys, I was like, hey, John Cena has found his niche right now. This is it, bro. This is it. James can you see him in that him. toilet seat, Ed? <laughs> yeah, 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 you can see. Yeah, you can see. Can you, you see, can him, see him? You can see him. Yeah, he's, he's, he's visible. He's visible right now in the show. Very visible. So, big guy. You can't miss him, bro. You can't miss him. But, um... <laughs> He even he tells this like in the movie, in the in, in the actual movie, the Suicide Squad movie, it's like a tad more serious. But in this show, it's like a full comedy right? and I flipping love it. It's full well, he's, comedy. With yeah, Cena. yeah. I mean, he's a superhero on his day off with me in the movie. Like, yeah, like... He, the way he just runs up like a like a little a school kid and he leaves the hospital. Like the first the first episode, it's funny as heck. He's like, wait, I think, I think people they're after me. Yeah, they're after me. He just gets his calls, walks out, like runs to the taxi to the cab. <laughs> he tries to do his, his trailer park house. You think he's got like a house, nice house. He's no, a tra- he lives, a, a, he lives in a trailer like yeah, yeah. the American flag. <laughs> American flag, he's stuck in it. I'm like, oh my day, this guy is all oh, right. He's fighting rough right now. Um, he does, it's basically no, no one's been paying his phone bill. <laughs> Just how much money he's like literally checking his phone, he's got about 100 million pecks in his phone. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, you were supposed to cancel my mobile service. <laughs> this guy basically broke at this point. He's poor at this point. He's got no money. His phone bill has been like, <laughs> just draining his cash out. And um, he's trying to do all these jobs now because they want him to actually kill people. He's not really a killer anymore because it's still a Suicide Squad movie. So that all ties back to the show because he's having second thoughts about actually being a, you know what I'm saying, a high assassin, a high mm. gun at this point. So he's got that kind of dilemma going on in the show. Um, which I found awesome, and he's got this kind of band of ragtag. It's kind of like another Suicide Squad again. Yeah. Um, that those kind of beats in the show, which I found uh, was pretty good. The characters they got, but I was like, this group of people that they got for the for the show for these characters, it works as well. It just works. I don't know what I don't know what they've done. The way James Gunn is is a is a a mastermind of putting yeah. people together that mm-hmm. shouldn't go together. Yeah. It's all about no, but what it is, his whole James Gunn's whole thing is 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 helping lost children find their dads. Yes. yes. Or people Everyone. who have been let down by their fathers finding a new fa- you know, finding mm. a new family. It's all about chosen family. It's all yes. about misfits banding together. Like that's James Gunn's thing. Um, and, and and I'm here for it. I'm here for it. hundred percent. No, it's like a it's, it's almost like a um toy story type of character type of thing, you know what I mean? Type yeah. of yeah, yeah, yeah. Ragtag, like, 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 like toys going together, and I was yeah. like, working together, I'm gonna have to out of necessity. People using point. their differences to, mm. you know, people who are, who are, who are incomplete, yes. finding people that fit the parts that they're not, you know, that they need help with. It's, yeah. it's good. I enjoy it. Well, no, that's, that's what I love about James Gunn, man. He, he just makes you feel for these characters as well. He's, he's, he's the king of, he's just king of making people make feel for some people. You're like, oh, man. Yeah. This guy is a douchebag. Oh, this woman is annoying. But I love this woman, man. I love, I love this character. You know what I'm saying? Because you feel for the characters because it gets that emotion going. You know, that, that that human yeah. element to be the characters, which I which I love. It he should feel for you, anyone. He gets you caring for people that you know. Yes, that you, should, you should not be caring for these people. Some of these people are straight killers out here. Because like on you're paper, capable. yeah, on paper, the peacemaker's like, okay, so you're a trained killer, you're an assassin, like you're a gun for hire. You know, you're misogynistic. You're <laughs> oh, yes. hey, Helen, that scene in the in the in the bar in the restaurant. Hello, sweet cheeks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like you're, oh, you make terrible sweet jokes. Cheeks. You're pretty, sweet cheeks. You're you're, fa- you're you're from a family of white supremacists. Yeah. Like I should not be rooting for you. Yet here I am, oh, pr- proud of my large American son. I uh, know it's insane. He goes, he literally. He, he, the thing is, because they're in the restaurant, yeah, they're, they're preparing for a mission. This is what happened um, in one of the scenes, and he literally rocks up in his full, full garb, full like, fit, kitted out peacemaker gear to go to a restaurant. They're like, "What the heck are you wearing?" <laughs> He's got the helmet on his head and everything to go to a restaurant. Helmet, full helmet, everything to go to a restaurant. They're like, "What are you doing? You look a right idiot. What are you doing coming to the restaurant looking like this?" And then he calls the waitress over. Hey, sweet cheeks. Uh, yeah, I'd like to order this, 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 this. 
And then the, the girls in the team look at him and say, sweet cheeks? Mm-hmm. Really sweet cheeks? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, it's a thumb of a dimmer, right? Yeah, it's something good, right? And just because he thinks it's like something, something else. He's like, no, you know what it means? The ass, right? <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> he was in there with the way he meant. He says these things, he doesn't even know what the heck they mean. He's like, what the heck? He's like, yeah, he's got some got sweet cheeks. Like, face, like cheeks on your face. He's like, no, 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 not that kind of cheeks. And he's, he's just, it's the stuff like that that cracks me yeah. up in this show. It just makes me laugh. I'm like, oh my God. This show is amazing. This show is just looking good. But he learns how to love and he learns how to respect and he learns how yes. to get along with people that he doesn't understand, yeah. which is many people because he's not very clever, is he? Bless him. Oh my gosh. And as I, saw, and I said before, the score in this show. Oh my score, god! The and the soundtrack. Yes, mate. Oh my gosh! Get on it. I, I was, I was shazamming this whole season. I told everyone, I said I was shazamming everything. I was like, yes, download, download, download. <laughs> the whole, the yeah, whole show, yeah, was, yeah. But also, oh, like, see? not everybody's got access to Night TV or Sky or anything like that. But I would say, just do yourself a gigantic favor and have a look at the opening credits on YouTube. Do it. You won't regret it, I promise you. You absolutely won't regret it. This is the Helen. This is the Helen right now. Say, get it done. That's the intro credit. Boom. From John Cena to London Batman, how is Moon Knight? (laughs) All right. I'm off to Isaac and I'm your daddy. (laughs) Is it really that bad? Uh, 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 all right, all right, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, uh, uh, I'm a bit meek. I'm a bit meek. And oh uh, my God. yes, going around that. Uh, uh, I've got a flat in uh, central London, and I work in a gift shop with my mum. And uh, oh yeah, I talk like this. I talk like this. Oh my gosh! And there's a man in the mirror who, who does my fighting for me. Oh. He's a man in the mirror. I think I'm going crazy, but I, I think I, I, I feel like Mark. Mark. Yeah. I think I think I might be going a little bit mad. Bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> it feels like I'm watching Oliver or something. I'm like, what is this? What is this? I, honestly, what is this? I, I, I don't know. There's bits of it where I'm like, you're just waiting for Mary Poppins to come in the corner, aren't you? <laughs> At this point, in the show, oh, I'm a moon night. Oh, my days. There's a second episode of Poppy. It's good because it highlights the difference between him and Mark. Yes, you know. yes. A massive difference in terms of how they speak and how they act. It's, it's a yeah, difference. yeah, I mean, yeah, he's a master kind of shifting between the two of them and getting into the characters. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. You, you, you don't do a British accent by watching a couple of episodes of EastEnders and just saying bloody a lot. <laughs> yeah, this point, this is what it sounds like, an EastEnders character at this point. This is what he is. How, how like, first, I'm like, watching him, like, is this a Marvel show? Really? First, I'm like, what is this? Oh my god, it seems like a BBC production or something. I'm like, what is this with that big budget? So it seems yeah. like <laughs> that's what it seems like to me. Is it BBC America slash UK? What's going on there? But um, but yeah, as I said before, hey, Moon Knight episode two is incredible. Oh man, that was another good episode. This one just shows how masterful Oscar Isaac is in, 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 when, he, when he goes into a role, when he goes deep into a role. Yeah. He embraced it. I was like, oh my god. Like, even, even the suit that when he transforms, like in episode when he transformed at the end. Um, and in this second, this second episode where he, he tries to transform while Mark is still like outside of his body. He's still he's still the one like in the yeah, back. Yeah. And he's like, hey, 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 Steven, hey Steven, Steven. Let me take over the body. Let me take over you know what the hell are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, you know, this, doing? this this way we both live. <laughs> yes, yeah, we're, we're gonna live. Hey, just let me take over the body. Come on, come on. And then he goes, he, he, jumped, he basically um this um creature pushes him out of the window, and is literally <laughs> Konsu, this um Egyptian god of the moon, says, hey, say suit, hey, transform, transform. He's like, yeah, suit, 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 suit. Ba ba, hits his head, wakes up and he's in this suave suit. Oh, it's, it's like a little old school, you know them old school gangsters from the mm. UK gangsters from like he's back in like got the sleeves up, got the gloves on, like he's gonna be the street fight, English street fight or something. That's the fucking oh, wow, that'd be incredible. Also the English vibe, the English side of the actual like of uh, Moonlight, which I was like, man, awesome. He's got a little two bat ones as well that comes out of his, you know, I come out of his trousers like, Zoom! what are these? What are these? 
And um, yeah, man. Oh gosh, <laughs> I can't say enough about this episode. This episode is too awesome. It, it, there's a lot. There's a lot going for it, isn't there? There's a lot. There's a lot going on in there. You got to believe what you, he's doing this week. You just need to suspend um, suspend your disbelief that Oscar <laughs> Isaac is a nerd. <laughs> And and no, that doesn't do very well with the ladies because like you're oh, just no. watching them going, you're Lewin Davis. <laughs> <laughs> come on, yeah, come on, man, come on. Uh, and the uh, thing is, <laughs> and the thing is, uh, the thing is, he goes, he literally just, um, fights as well. And you see, he's getting hit, hit around, and bodies just flying around the floor, and people in the whole UK England is watching him right yeah. now. So England is just like saying, what the heck is he doing? He's just a posh guy going crazy. I was like, oh my God, that was funny. That was incredible. That was incredible. It's some good shit, yeah. Moon Knight um, is awesome, bro. Tara, Mm -hmm. I mean, what would you like to talk about your pick? Okay, so um, first you spoke about a movie, and I'm going to talk about one of the latest movie installments of The Prince of Legend. It's called Kizoku mm-hmm. Korin. And for this... Okay, Sorry, so what? Kizoku Korin, Prince of Legends. It's one of the latest uh, movie installments of the entire Prince of Legends series. Okay. Okay, so basically, this uh, is actually... I mean, this part of, you know, the movie features... Oh, sure. My, I'm sorry, my light's having issues. It's like a horror movie in there, like flicking. <laughs> the plot is unstable. It's a plot from, from, yeah, from China, <laughs> by the way. It's like unstable. Uh, okay. The right. Yeah, okay. So, so basically, this actually focuses on a group of aristocrats trying to overtake the school that are run by the prince. Mm. So they call themselves the aristocrats or the noblemen. And they're actually a bunch of like uh, club hosts, like the hosts from the club, mm. nightclubs to be precise. And they actually go to school while the main character, Suzaku, is away on his prince duties, like traveling the world, basically trying to live up to the royal family, you know, travel the world, see all those poverty stricken countries and all. Mm. Yeah, so this guy, his real name is uh, Shintaro, which is quite awkward because my friend's name is Shintaro. Shintaro Ando, with the nickname Dory, D-O-R-Y, God knows why. He and his, uh, his band of goons all pick French names or Western names like Dory, Raphael, and all. I don't know, God knows why, you know, some Japanese are obsessed with the French culture and themselves. That's what this group of hosts are. Yeah. So Dory is a very narcissistic dude who like who makes his subordinates all sing D O R Y number one number one and then there will feature you know scenes of the actor uh, Alan Shirahama who's quite famous he's from Excel you know with the dumbbells just lifting the dumbbells and his man titi uh, I don't know why he's just a bloody narcissist and he must be only number one and people will support him. So he wants to be number one so badly. He actually hates Suzaku from childhood because Suzaku was rich and uh, Dory was poor. And he wanted to overthrow Suzaku since then. So uh, he he and his goons come to the school and try to take over. And he said, I will teach Dory-nomics instead of economics. D-O-R. The principal said, I'm like, dude, what shit is that? Seriously, is this oh, like, no, teaching everyone narcissism to love you, right? This is like communism, like how they worship Kim Jong-un or Putin. Yeah, just one person or dictatorship. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, it's not a democracy. Japan is a democracy, yo. Okay, so... Um, classic, yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So there are other twists in this story, like uh, there are a lot of other characters and they face betrayal by two... You know, yeah, some twists and turns here and there. And all, all the characters are acted by the Exile members, by the way. I'm sure, I'm not sure who knows, but Exile is actually a very famous, like, uh, J-pop band. Honestly, they should be the face of J-pop rather than stupid Johnny's Entertainment, which all the boys are like, crap. Oh, I'm going to get killed. It's okay. Just kill me. Because Exile is so much better than Johnny's. And should be the face of J-pop worldwide. Okay, so yeah. And in this show, um, it actually comes down to a battle, which is actually fencing. 
I don't know why fencing, but then again, they are so obsessed with the French culture, like, you know, these, mm. like, I don't know why, like, yeah. So, uh, it comes to fencing. So, Dory and Suzaku go in a fencing face-off, and Suzaku wins, and Dory accepts his defeat, so he actually retreats back with his, his goon of host club, his goons, and, and then he said, I've lost. Then his goons just say to him, just because you fail to overtake the school doesn't mean you're not number one. To us, you'll always be number one. This dude needs a slap and a wake-up call to you know, realize that you cannot be on top all the time. Yeah. Ain't no mountain high enough. So that's no mountain what... high enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's what the show is actually all about. Yeah, so it's about the face-off, but uh, all the guys are really cute as usual. And when you're speaking about the AKB48 girl just now, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, her name is Minami Minagishi, right? Yes. Okay, so apparently, you know what happened? She dated Alan Shirahama, the actor in the show. Alan Shira. Oh, man, I knew you were going to know that. I knew it. I knew you were going to know that. There's a famous Alan Shira. I was thinking the same thing. Oh, I was thinking the same thing. And she got into deep shit because of that. Right, in the Korean industry, yeah, she, she, she would have yeah. been, you know, uh, yeah. dropped from the label or mm. made to exit the group. She shaved her hair off, repented. Yes, in yeah. Japan, that's what she does. Yeah, but in the Korean industry, she would have been dropped from the label or made to leave the group or something like that. But in Japan, she went bald. Wow. I don't get it. Very healthy way to treat women it's just stupid yeah i mean you dated a guy it's normal to date because you're human i understand but you don't need to go that far and yeah yeah if you know what i mean no i do never seems to be never seems to be men getting into trouble for doing things like that does it it's always women (laughs) That's the problem with that country that we're just talking about. Um, oh, in the Korean industry, even male idols get black for dating female I mean, idols. I mean, it's the same they in this country. They who they want to date, and this is the thing. They don't have a life outside of the band, basically. So they can't date to stay pure mm. in the fans. I, I think it's bullshit. This point is bullshit. Yeah, they do that in this country you as well, don't people. they? Yeah, but it's not as bad as it is over there where you can't date at all. So well, no, but like, in this in this country, like boy bands and I mean they're not allowed to talk they're I still mean, not really allowed to talk about who they're dating or if they're married or anything, aren't they? Just let them date who they want to date. It doesn't matter. Exactly. But Yeah, let them be free. Free the right. band. Not to be rude, yeah. but she has a face of that. You know that cat. You know, okay, I don't know what cat is that. We call it the accident face cat in Singapore, where the face is droopy and yeah, I don't know what. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And if you look at Google search, it's like what the hell? Minami Minagishi Instagram. Minami Minagishi and Alan. Minami Minagishi apology. Minami Minagishi bald. Oh god. Go no, look at Alan. Well, and yeah, so the other show that I watched recently is The Vampire Diary Season 8. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, yes. Ben, 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 you're going ben, to get a little taste, Ben. Cake, I did yeah, season one. Well, I'm not watching it seasons in a week. Cake, right? yeah, there was yes. Enzo, and then there was Stefan, Damon, and annoying Alina. But <laughs> what I like about the Vampire Diaries is they show their transition from like the high school students of 15 year old to their adults like I think at least until they're 30 I think yeah and they really did grow up you know unlike some people <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, yeah they actually really show the transition and character development from like high school until adult past like university into like adult age yeah Mm -hmm. so that's what one of the things that i really like that they highlight character development because a lot of american movies the series they tend to romanticize high school like it's your prime the best time of your life and 
I mean, of course, um, when I grew up, I watched a lot of those American high school movies. Like, I don't understand why the vampire has to go to a high school when, you know, the people are all underage. When the vampire is literally hundreds of years old and they target an underage person. I don't understand why. They can go to a university or, you know, somewhere else, but they go to a school where people are still in puberty and blooming. But I don't understand why in American movies, like, you're 15 and they look fully grown and fully developed. I don't know why that doesn't happen in Asia or my school at least. Yeah, so, um, and they tend to romanticize it a lot like, oh, there's a new hot guy in school. I didn't know he's a vampire, but what's he doing in a place full of underage kids? Seriously. Don't you agree? Yeah. No, yeah, it's creepy. Yeah, it <laughs> yeah exactly. And it it's, it's almost as if people in Hollywood want to normalize creepy old men having relationships with young girls. Yeah, exactly. And I don't I don't get like why they romanticize school like as if it's your prime, your best times in life. Because a lot of American people that I actually spoke to actually hated high school. And it's not as in the movies, not what it's like in the movies, you know. I believe the prime these days is not even university, it's probably your twenties or your your late twenties or your early thirties. Yeah. I, I believe that's the prime these days. So, uh, okay, and I mean, yeah, I mean, overall, I think they were just struggling to end the series. Stefan had to die, unfortunately. Yes. Yep. And annoying Elena is awake again. God knows how, but she annoys me every single time. <laughs> and I feel sorry for Bunny, though. Why do bad things always happen to her? Like, she deserves to be happy. She was she was screwed up the entire show. But... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like like when Enzo dies, right? I think that's really sad. And yeah, in the end, she just goes on, she just goes on a, on a walk about somewhere. That's how the show ends. From I'm like, what the heck? What what's Bonnie doing now? We don't know. Yeah, she travels the world, and oh. Enzo is in spirit form or psychic form. But yeah, yeah dude, right. at least give him a physical body, right? Don't make him in a periton or a yeah. ghost, right? The way, but the thing is, you, 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 they went to get rid of her years ago, but the thing is, people liked her so much, they kept her around, that's why. Yeah, that's why. Mm. Um, yeah, so... And then the sirens, good thing they burn. They're annoying as hell. <laughs> oh, do we, what was that again? The sirens. Oh, the sirens. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, good thing they burn. They're annoying oh, as hell. Okay. Yeah, they'll do it. Oh, yeah, they're right. Sorry. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Ah, what do you think about Cade? Oh, okay. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, good, 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 good. What do you think about it? What do you think about it? Mm, yeah, he's all right though, but I don't get why he's so obsessed with hell. Is he? Is he really the devil? Is he Satan? Um, it was. It was like the yeah. I guess it was the. It was Hades. Dream or something. It was. It was Hades. It was like in terms of like the underworld. Uh... Of the vamp of the um spiritual of the uh mythical world basically vampires werewolves all that kind of thing they always go they go there yeah they magical creature they yeah. go there yeah and Stefan and Caroline got married and I think it's very really sad how Stefan had to die oh uh, yes yeah, so, and the demon so I'm checking out Vampire Diaries now on Netflix. This is not on Netflix anymore. I'm not sure about the UK Netflix, but for... Well, if I can't find it on Netflix, so I can't watch it. So you better pray it's on Netflix. Okay, okay. Then I'll, I'll make you watch Prince of Legend if it's not Vampire Diaries. Mm, uh, the I'm Prince sure. of Legend. Yeah. I was going to say, Helen, what you going to say? Sorry. Sorry. I think we can find I, the Vampire sorry. Diaries for Ben. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I, I'd buy that on DVD. I, I think he's trying to escape. I think that's what and he's trying to send it to him. Pay. Actually, I'd hand deliver it on DVD. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think, yeah. Oh, no, it's on Netflix, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Man tried to escape him his whole life. I was like, no. I'm no. Episode. 22 episodes. Are you sucking dicks right now? 22 yeah. episodes. I'm only watching a bit of that. I'm going to watch as Man, much as I can and take it. Watch more 22 episodes, bro. Do it. Not watching with 22 episodes, I don't have Do that it. time. No, I'm Tara, just, of it. just tell us what the shiniest, sparkliest, most tortured, romanciest episode of the Vampire Diaries is, and just tell Ben to watch that one. Yes, um, yes. I'm not sure actually, to be honest. 
Yeah. Mm. I can't make a decision. Yeah. Sorry. I'll tell you what, I will go as deep as I can into season one. Watch a little of it and try and get I it I think season one's a bit boring. You can start from season two onwards. There you go. You've okay. had your instructions. Yeah, okay. Try and get as deep into the Vampire Diaries as I can in a week. Starting tonight. I'll give it a shot. Do it. Do it. Yeah, for now. Oh, this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be glorious. It's gonna be next fun. week. So, Helen, what do you want to talk about before we talk about me? Oh, well, I've I had a couple of things on my list, uh, and I'm gonna because I'm getting tired now, so I'm gonna decide which ones I'm gonna talk about. So, YouTube mm -hmm. recommendation is a show called Rabbit. Right. Okay. It's my favorite TikToker. Kyle Pru has wrote a show. He's a novelist, he's a TikToker, he's all these kind of things. He okay. wrote a show, nobody picked it up, so he made it himself and he's put it on YouTube. Is it's, it about vibrators? Rabbit vibrators. It's about this guy called Rabbit who does jobs that nobody else wants to do. Okay. You knew, okay, my joke was not that funny then. Okay. It was, it was, it was funny, <laughs> but I responded to it with fact. Of, I mean, it 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 might you know, a, a rabbit vibrator is a rabbit that will do a task that some people don't want to do, or are incapable of doing, you know. So it does fit. It does fit. Uh, but he's like he's called Rabbit, and he yeah he does little odd jobs that other people don't want to do. So I'm not going to spoil it too much, but in in yeah in the first episode he's doing something that nobody else would want to do. So there's only there's two episodes of it up so far. It's on YouTube, ten minutes long. Hit that. Oh, ten minutes, okay. Yeah, yeah. Have a look. See what you think. And my main pick is Kevin can go f himself, or Kevin can f himself. Ah, uh, I've seen something. I know I've seen that somewhere. Yeah, it's on Amazon Prime. Yeah. It's uh, what's her face from Shit's Creek. Ah, okay, got you. Annie, oh god, what's her name? Oh man, I can't remember. Annie Murphy. Name. Annie Murphy. There so, you go. There you go. Alexis from Schitt's Creek plays. Well, do you know in like American sitcoms where there's a uh, a man who is a complete arsehole that's married to a, a, a woman who's way out of his league? Yeah. And nobody yeah. can quite fathom the Vos why. Geller, the Voss Geller archetype, yes. Yeah, well, like, you know, the Homer Simpson. Yes. It's basically um, Annie Murphy plays a sitcom wife. Uh, so she's ma basically married to Homer Simpson in a small town. And when he's on screen, it's all like sitcom filmed and the bright lights and the live studio audience and the laugh track. But as soon as he leaves the room, it switches to film, film, like it switches to film style filming. Oh, okay. And uh, the laugh track goes, and it's a lot darker, and all that goes. So she's just kind of realizing that, you know, she wants more. Basically, what kicks it all off is that the first episode is about her deciding, you know, she doesn't know what she wants from life. And she's like, got this dream about living in a nice house in a nice neighborhood. And she finds out that her husband has um, frittered away their savings on his madcap schemes. <laughs> so she decides that she wants to kill him and get out of the relationship. And basically, it's about her plotting this guy's demise as he gets into more and more madcap schemes. He's like basically a flesh Homer Simpson. Like, he, he literally pulls that kind of shit. Like, so there's an episode that centers around him trying to win a chili cooking competition. <laughs> and there's another one where he tries to set up an escape room. Like, it's, he's just, he's literally. He's setting like, up an escape room. What is he We like? should yeah. do an escape room together and make a podcast cast of it while we're yeah. doing it so it's basically like <laughs> like what if marge simpson snapped yeah okay Got and it. and decided to start plotting against homer basically yeah. <laughs> but there's no kids involved anyway so she, yeah she makes friends with some people in the neighborhood she kind of tries to expand her horizons a little bit and there's a kind of dark undertone as well to some of the stuff that he does like, because you know, like most sitcom husbands, they're neglectful, but they're not abusive. Like the the board, but the the borderline in this one's a lot more blurred. Yeah. 
yeah and I was watching my partner and partner goes oh this is a horror and I was like no no it's it's like it's like a meta comedy and he's like it seems like a horror like it feels like a horror a lot of the time she seems to be trapped in this kind of reality that's just not normal so uh, it's in, it's interesting I mean it is very high concept like what does a sitcom wife get up to when her ridiculous schlubby husband is off doing his madcap schemes yeah but oh, that sounds interesting like that. it's yeah. interesting yeah and it's all it's, it's it's eight episodes i think and i know that there's more coming but i think there's only going to be a two season arc so it's mm. going to be it's not going to be one of those ones that kind of runs and runs and runs but it's it, it's definitely worth your time and if you can watch it in a weekend all's the better Okay, so yeah. eyebrow shows. Oh, I'll check it out. Yeah, check it out. Check out Rabbit as well. Like, it's only 10 minutes of your life. 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 no. minutes Rabbit, all right. Okay, I've got some shit to watch. And yeah, and if, you, if you have TikTok, follow Kyle because he's brilliant. <laughs> TikTok, okay. TikTok, TikTok. Children, TikTok. children who have TikTok. <laughs> oh, God. He does a series about how to un- annoy men. Oh my god! And like he makes people very angry, but it's 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 quite funny. So it's like, um, things he says is like refer to all sports as men's sports. So just go and say, oh, you're watching men's baseball. That's cool. Good for you. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and he's like, and if you're over six foot, tell everybody that you're five foot eleven to make them feel inferior. Which I enjoy as well. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, it's exactly. I, I can't think of any more right now, but um, he's he's very funny. Um, Jeez. yeah. Okay, so rabbit and rabbit, yes, and Kevin can go F himself. Yeah, okay. Go Kevin ahead. can F himself. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. This like week, Helen Rabbit's on. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. This week, Helen Rabbit's on. Yeah, this it writes itself. The the, uh, the description this week has already written itself. Helen Rabbit's on. It's Ta- great. Tara's it's holding, great. Out, Tara's holding out for a vampire. Mm-hmm. Tara turned bitches into hot sluts. <laughs> Love rivals into sluts. I mean, it might be a bit misleading to put that in the description because a lot of people would just be literally Googling sluts and then getting us. <laughs> and I can only speak and I can only I can only speak for myself on that front and you know, yes. Yes, but... the numbers up. <laughs> yes, the numbers of angry people uh. wanting to murder us up. Oh god. Oh, I don't give a shit about what people think about us. We're doing our <laughs> I'm not doing this fear mob bullshit that's happening now, cancellation. If you don't like it, get out of town. It's all done tongue in cheek. Get out of town. I refuse to be cancelled. We are very <laughs> careful to say what we say. I don't think we've said anything wrong. We've aimed it at a person. That's made Tara's life a living hell. She doesn't listen to this podcast, so we won't get any backs up in. It's no. fine. Fair enough. Yeah, will behave himself now. I will see to it. Excellent work. <laughs> I landed it. I landed it. Yeah, you landed Great. it. Awesome. Nailed it. Protection of the best friend. There we go. Best friends. Yeah, I've been yeah. here. Right. So, um, you guys want to pick this up? Oh, I've got nothing. Have you got anything? Hello, no. No, nothing. Empty. Okay, cool. So, should we do the socials and the blah, 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 just go home early and um, just all yeah. right, enjoy your shows. I have to watch Vampire Diaries and Vampire <laughs> <laughs> Diaries. Soiled. Vampire <laughs> Diaries. I'd like to thank whoever um, signed the podcast email up to uh, German video game uh, subscriptions. That that's fun to read. Thank you. Okay. Don't do that. Just 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 don't do stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Ah oh, god. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> this is a question. We don't want. <laughs> we don't want 
Spam. Let's not do it. Spam oh, everywhere. By the way, don't put porn in the YouTube comments while we're on it. Don't do that. Leave a proper comment. Don't be a dick. Thank you. Right, okay, done. All people are. <laughs> so there's a Facebook group. There is um Hannah, would you like to say what the email and the uh the Twitter is? Uh Square Isen at twitter.com and at gmail.com. Okay, Troy. Yes. Uh Legend of All 101 on YouTube, podcast, reviews, reactions, all that good stuff. Check me out. Yeah, yeah. Check, 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 check it out and Tara Chloe. Check out my channel, yo. Many titty men, Asian men, titty, and yeah, it's gonna be travel vlog, by the way. Yeah. Most the bitch of a border, so finally open. Cool. <laughs> Did that come out? Did you guys hear that? It sounded a bit broken on my end. No, we heard it. We heard it. Is it just me that couldn't hear that? I think it's just you. Okay, that, that that means the main recording's got it. Then that's fine. So don't worry yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, Tara, would you like to say it just again, just in case? Uh, okay. Uh, my channel, yo, many Asian titty men or men titty, and there's going to be travel vlog because the goddamn bitch of the borders are finally open. I can't wait for your new video, which is going to turn love rivals into sluts. That's going to be your next video. Yeah. I'm a big fan of that. <laughs> Brilliant. Yes. You know, is going to be a new web. So we're going to do. <laughs> so, mm. this is this week. Do not fuck with Tara Curry. Is this week's episode title? Congratulations, yes. one. Yeah, we're going to just do not fuck with Tara Curry. Done. That, that, yes. I think that's an acceptable oh, title yes. this week. Well done, or, or what about um, Office? It's not Kevin can go F himself. It can be Office. I think, yeah, rival. Can go from F the word himself. Office, though. Hmm? Okay. Do not fuck with Tara Chloe. Yeah. Done. Okay. I think I think we've got a winner this week. And we've once again put a swear inside of the title. We didn't really work at that. Oh, um okay. Oh, by the way, I'm still doing trivia quest on Netflix, which is the daily quiz thing. Oh yeah. Um, I'm not doing so well at the moment. It's very American, unfortunately. Um, okay. It's too American. There's, there's okay. a lot of questions about American Netflix. shit. I don't know. Make it more international. God, I hate America and they're they're we're great. Look at our, our country. There are money. There are other countries in the world. Sort it out. Sick and tired of asking, just answering American questions, which I have no idea what's going on. Sometimes it's fine, but it's like every question, every second question is an American landmark question. It's like, come on, how am I meant to know that? Trivia quest. Okay, but it's a bit too American. I don't care. I don't give a shit. She's a dirty girl. I don't care. Sorry. Then you sound, like, sound like a Dalek. Oh, is it really bad? Yeah. It's, it's, getting, it's getting bad. It's getting bad. It's getting, yeah. I think every, everybody's bandwidth is, is shrinking. It's, it's, oh, no. Well, he's I melting. am going to exterminate He's someone. melting. That is goodbye from me. Exterminate. She did talk about that time as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Can we say bye? You gone? Are we off? Bye, everyone. Yeah. See you oh, soon. Ben's still, Ben's still here. Bye from See me. ya. Bye from me. I am a bye darling. You me. can suck my gun <laughs> up. Yes, suck my gun up.